Hello and welcome to the Chief Architect Quick Tip video. Today we're going to be covering how to import a CAD file and then with the CAD do what we call a CAD to walls uh, conversion or a CAD to walls import. And what that does is it allows us to take a two dimensional CAD file, bring it into Chief Architect, and then convert that into a 3D model. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to go ahead and launch the software and we're going to launch our Chief Architect X7 version and uh, the Chief Architect products are, are only products that support the CAD to walls import so it, this only applies to our Chief Architect Premier version and we're going to start by opening a new plan and in this new plan we are going to import our CAD file now I already have a CAD file, uh, an example, set on my desktop. So I'm going to come up to the top of my screen here and click the minimize button. And here I have a sample DWG file that we're going to use to import. Now we support drag and drop, so I can simply grab this off of my desktop and pull it over into my chief architect plan and release my mouse. And I'm going to get a, a drawing assistant. This is a wizard that will bring us through the import process and uh, I'll go ahead and click the next button here and we get a few options that we can choose uh, number one if we hadn't dragged and dropped we can specify the location of the CAD file we'd like to uh, deal with um, and there's some few options here that would apply to uh, importing a, something other than a floor to plan like a CAD block or something so we're gonna focus in on what we would do to uh, bring in a floor plan and uh, we can leave our uh, our polylines unchecked here for polyline boxes how we handle them uh, endpoints but uh, we're going to make sure that we're selecting that uh, we're only importing CAD blocks that are referenced in the drawing um, rather than importing all CAD blocks. And we'll go ahead and click the next button here. And here are all the different layers that are set up in this, uh, in this example DWG that I have. And if I scroll down our list, we see really there's a, a very long list of, of layers that are set up in this particular file. Now, when we're bringing in our floor plan, we want to drill this down just into the layers that we're interested in. And it's helpful if the person that organized their, this drawing has organized it into layers that uh, make sense and in terms of looking at what they're called. So I'm going to clear all in terms of the layers that we would like to bring in. So we're going to clear all and that will uncheck all of our uh, CAD layers here. And I'm going to drill down into what I'm interested in specifically. So as I scroll down our list here, um, the first thing that I'm going to see is this door and windows layer. Many times your CAD file will have doors and windows broken out on their own layers. This particular example has them combined. Makes it a little bit more uh, difficult in the end uh, because it's harder for us or the software uh, chief architect to determine what's a door and a window when they're not on their own layers. But uh, in this case we'll go ahead and check our door and window. We'd like to bring that in. And as I go down my list. I'm just going to also bring in these two floor plans. I'm not certain why they have two floor plan layers in here, but we'll go ahead and bring them both. And then as we scroll down our list uh, down towards the bottom, I'm interested in our, in our walls, so I'd like to bring that layer in as well. So typically the, the things that you're most interested in is bringing in walls, windows, and doors. You want to make sure um, those layers are, are being carried forward in our import. So I have those layers selected and I made note of what they're called, so I remember that. And we'll hit the next button. And uh, this next uh, option that we get here is that we can bring in this an entire drawing in a single Chief Architect layer or we can break out those layers into uh, the individual layers that exist in the CAD file. So we're going to bring them the, uh, the CAD in and we're going to retain the name of the layer that was in that CAD. So uh, we're going to retain, if we went back, these layer names rather than condensing them all down into a single layer in Chief Architect. So we'll click Next again. 
and uh, you can specify the unit of measurement. Uh, also, import dimensions where possible is uh, a fine setting, as well as move the drawing to the origin and chief architect. That way, it's easier to find um, that uh, origin of zero zero. So that just if you don't uh, check that, you may find that the CAD uh, gets placed off uh, off of your drawing where you might see it. Uh, it may get uh, put off into some other origin points. So we'll go ahead and click Next and Finish. And now we have imported this CAD block or uh, CAD drawing. And we're going to zoom out a little bit here. And then as I zoom out, I start to see the, the various CAD that we imported here. Okay. So what we're interested in is uh, bringing in one of these floor plans that are here. So in this view, I'm going to select on this floor plan that we've imported. And I'm going to do a copy operation. So let's expand our, uh, our window here a little bit and go to Edit and Copy. So we've copied this CAD, and now I don't need the drawing, uh, this file that I've created, the new Chief Architect file that we've created. I'm just going to go in and I want to start with a fresh brand new plan that doesn't have any CAD, you know, all this additional stuff that you see on your screen. We don't really care about any of that stuff. We're just interested in the floor plan. So with this copied, I'm going to go to File and New Plan and then I'm going to do edit and paste and we'll just paste this right down into our plan. So the next thing that we want to take a look at is um, we want to examine the thicknesses of the existing walls that are in this plan. And you'll notice that when I click to select this, uh, this CAD uh, block that's been imported, you'll notice it selects everything together. So if I grab it and move it, it's moving all these uh, grouped items together. So the first thing I want to do is explode this CAD block into its individual components. So at the bottom of our screen, we get this edit button here, explode CAD block. And now when I click inside this area, I'm going to select on individual lines rather than this entire block. Now let's zoom in a little bit and uh, let's take notice of the thicknesses of the walls that are in this plan. And you'll notice when I, I select on this uh, individual CAD line here that I have a three and a half inch uh, wall thickness on this side. And if we click on this wall, I've got a five and a half inch uh, thickness. So it appears from uh, this plan that they're likely only dealing with the framing uh, thickness of the wall rather than including the sheetrock layer and the siding and, and uh, sheathing and so forth. And uh, we want to make sure that we, we take note of that because when we do a CAD to walls import, the thickness of this wall that's existing has to very, be very close within one inch of the thickness of the wall that's set up in your plan in Chief Architect. Um, so with that in mind, we have a, a five and a half inch wall here and a three and a half inch wall here. We're going to need to go into our wall settings and create a wall type that is very uh, close or exactly uh, that matches that overall thickness. So what we can do is go up to our exterior wall and double click on it. And in this initial dialog box in the general panel, we're just going to change the thickness of our exterior wall to match that of what's in the CAD. So we're just putting a value of five and a half inches here. And we'll click OK. And then I'm going to go and select our interior wall and double click on it to change our interior wall, def the default type wall for our interior. And we'll change that to a three and a half inch wall and click OK. So what we've done is we've made the default wall type in our Chief Architect plan that we have here. Um, we're temporarily making that to match exactly what our exterior wall is here and our interior wall is here. That way when we do the CAD to walls import, the two uh, will recognize each other and map the correct wall to the, to the correct place. Um, that will not be a perfect process. And in fact, this, is, this plan is a good example because this is our garage area here, and 
with our garage they've set this up instead of having a six inch exterior wall we only have a, a three and a half inch exterior wall here so when we do our automated CAD walls import there's going to be some cleaning up to do you'll also notice that there's a big gap in our wall layer uh, here going across and uh, so you know the software when you do the CAD to walls will need to clean up and, and tell Chief Architect what's going on in this here area okay now because we have uh, a slightly we don't have a, an exterior wall here that matches uh, the full thickness of the wall we have just the framing that we're dealing with here we're gonna wanna go into our default setting and under defaults for walls we're gonna open up our general wall default and we want to resize about the outer surface of our of our wall layer um, so essentially what we're doing is we're gonna line up the outside of our uh, chief architect wall with the outside of this CAD wall and when we get through the process you'll you'll understand where, where I'm going with this so we'll select under the general wall default outside surface and click OK and done and at this point we're ready to start our CAD to walls uh, import process so let's go ahead and start that so we'll need to go up to our uh, CAD import window here but uh, before I do that I, I probably should mention that uh, we've already set our default for our interior and exterior wall we, we've changed the thickness of the wall there um, had we had uh, in our uh, window and door layers separate we could could have gotten a little bit closer with matching our windows and doors so if there's a default style window that's uh, in your plan and it's being used uh, you know more one window type more than any other you can set a default window and a default door and uh, of course in chief architect we just double click on the window tool to open the default and if we wanted to change that to maybe uh, a right sliding and maybe we'll do a 48 by 48 perhaps that's uh, the most common window type so we can do that both for our windows and set the default for our door so when we do our CAD to wall import it's going to assign that window type in all those openings so under our CAD menu to do the CAD to wall conversion um, at the bottom of the list there is a CAD to walls option and that's going to launch uh, another wizard that kind of brings you through the process and what we need to do now is map the layers of the CAD to what we want uh, to happen in Chief or what we want Chief Architect to do so in for our wall layer we want to change um, we want to assign that to the CAD wall that we brought in so if we go down our list here we should find that walls layer that was all capitalized that's why you want to make a note of what that's called and what it looks like so we want to map the CAD walls to walls in Chief Architect for windows we have that window door layer so we just need to go down to the door windows that's that CAD layer and it's going to be the same for doors because they were not uh, specified separately so we'll map that to doors had we had railings a deck or something we could deal with that as well and you'll notice the the wall type so what is the default wall type that we're going to use uh, in chief architect when we're when we're doing this conversion because we went in and set our uh, our wall thickness to five and a half and three and a half it's made new walls here for us automatically and it's automatically set those those for us in the drop down uh, you can also go into the list and choose a, a wall type that you'd like to assign to that as well so you do have that option so we'll stick with what was assigned here uh, that custom wall thickness that we made and we'll click OK 
So now, uh, very quickly, we've created a, uh, a floor plan, and it's a little bit hard to, to see what's going on here because we're overlaying our CAD layer in our uh, chief architect that's been done, and we'll notice that uh, there's going to be some cleanup to be done. So I notice uh, immediately here we have some wall intersections that aren't quite right, and uh, what that boils down to is there were some things uh, on the wall layer that weren't necessarily walls. So we'll notice right here, this CAD uh, object right here, that uh, was likely a post uh, for shear that was added in. Looks like there's another post here. So when you do the CAD to walls, Chief Architect thought that there was a wall there and really it's just a post. So we'd want to do a little bit of cleanup. We can just highlight around that area and hit the delete key and delete some of the things that are uh, in place there. Um, there's another uh, object here that we can delete. So you just will need to go around uh, another one here and uh, delete these individual objects and that will get rid of some of those uh, intersections that, that uh, aren't quite right. Okay, we'll just highlight that and delete it and it looks like that section hasn't completely connected there so we'll just pull that down. Okay, so you can see the program, uh, Chief Architect's done a, a real good job of lining things up here, and because we uh, selected to align the outside uh, surface, we get the total thickness of our wall lining up here from the inside to the outside right on, so that's going to match up our dimensions. And then at this point, if we wanted to go in and change our default wall out to something standard, that would include the framing plus the sheetrock layers and sheets. And, and siding, we can at this point go in and, and make that change if we'd like to. Um, we'll zoom out a little bit here and uh, you'll notice that in that gap in our CAD, uh, the software chief architect thinks that those are doors. Uh, it put in garage doors there. If we just select those and, and click to the delete key, again, there's always some cleanup that you have to do to, to get things put together. Uh, and this garage wall we had mentioned is uh, was assigned as a three and a half inch wall. So again, the chief architect sees that as being an interior wall where we would want to change that over to an exterior uh, four inch wall. So we'll do a, a quick 3D view just to see what it looks like here. So uh, we'll do a perspective floor overview that's more of a dollhouse view and uh, of course you'll notice right away our garage walls here just need to be changed over. Um, we have a six inch wall here that's separating so again the chief architect sees that as an exterior wall. We would just probably change that over to a six inch fire rated wall. Um, this is an interior wall here that was a plumbing, six inch plumbing wall so again that's something that we can change over. Uh, there's little tweaks that need to be made. In fact, uh, if we like to, we can close that original CAD plan that we uh, imported into and let's split our screen here and uh, to clean up some of these walls we can group select our walls here so I can hold the shift key down and grab all three of those and then hit the open object and go into our wall types and instead of an interior three perhaps that would be a siding four inch and click OK so pretty quick you're uh, getting into to what you need there um, this is a garage area we can double click on that room change that over to a garage so you just uh, go through we have openings here rather than doors um, we just go through and make those edits so I'm not going to spend a lot of time going through and cleaning up uh, the rest of the plan here. I think you get the idea of uh, going in, but again, a very quick way to bring in a CAD floor plan and convert that over to a 3D model and uh, very accurately will produce uh, the interior and exterior walls. Um, the final thing that I'd want to take a look at is just uh, turning off the CAD layers that we have here. So if we go up to our uh, layer uh, active layer display options. Um, in here we can go in and, and find those layers that we imported. So if you recall we have a door and window layer right here we can turn off and uh, continue going down. We had a floor plan and uh, another floor plan layer I think we brought in. 
and uh, we'll go down to perhaps our walls find that on the list that's that capitalized walls so we can go through and turn off those layers and click OK and now we have what uh, you would see as more of a, a typical plan view in Chief Architect so that pretty well wraps up our quick tip here I'd like to bring over our Chief Architect website and uh, mention that if you want some more resources on uh, the CAD to walls and the CAD import, uh, you can go out to the Chief Architect website. That's simply chiefarchitect.com. And in the search field here, it's a great way to find information. I'm just going to type in CAD to walls in that field and hit search and it'll search out resources on learning more about that. So here we get a tech article on uh, how to use the CAD to wall uh, tool in, in within Chief Architect. And that's more of a, uh, a text based and image based uh, uh, resource. You can also go to the user center and training videos and search out more information on importing CAD and the CAD to walls conversion. I want to thank you for watching our quick tip video today on our CAD to walls import and importing CAD in the Chief Architect. For those of you that don't already have the software or own Chief Architect, um, we have a free trial version you can download right on our website. That's chiefarchitect.com and just takes a few minutes to download and install. And I want to thank you again for watching our quick tip video and you have a great day.